Hey you all, this is Dr. Habib Ahmed. I work at Georgia Institute of Technology. Previously, I have posted videos on the theory of ion implantation, the simulation of ion implantation using SESPRI software, and on the simulation of ion implantation using the STREAM and TRIM software. So, I already posted a basic video on an implantation simulation using the stream and trim software but a lot of researchers they face problem on uh, how to plot the dopant concentration versus depth like like these kind of curves using the stream and trim software if you go to the platform of stream and trim software you see we get uh, this kind of distribution but this is actually atoms per centimeter cube over atoms per centimeter square this does not exactly give us the dopant concentration versus depth also if you compare suspri software versus uh, stream and trim software you might notice that suspri software actually gives us the opportunity to enter the fluence are the doors of the ion implantation 10 into 10 to the power of 14 ions per centimeter square in this case as well however if you look at the interface of uh, stream and trim software over here we can actually enter the information of the dopant uh, we can enter the information of the target layer and we can enter the energy of the dopant but we don't see an option for the dose over here so I'm also going to show you how to incorporate the dose information for plotting the dopant concentration versus depth so let's do that I'm going to close this window I don't want to save it Okay, so that window is closed. Also, I'm going to delete this column. And delete the information over here in these two columns as well. Then I'm running the stream software now. We click on the trim calculation, move the window slightly to the side, and let us assume that I want to perform the boron ion implantation simulation using the stream and trim software. So here we select the dopant, in our case it's boron, and in my case I'm going for an energy of 150 kilo electron volts. Then you also have the option of entering the angle of incidence. Um, here I'm keeping a zero for our simulation case. The target layer in my case is going to be silicon. And we want to see the depth profile down to 10,000 angstrom or we can say 1,000 nanometers or in other words, one micrometer. Here we can enter the number of ions for simulation purpose. I'm keeping it at 2000 and then here are the output windows that we want to see. So let me check everything once again. Boron at an energy of 150 kilo electron volts and at an angle of incidence of zero at a depth of 10,000 angstrom. The target material is silicon and our total number of ions are 2,000. And we also selected these output results. So we are all set. Click on save input and run trim.
and right now it's running around 80 number of ions and it's gonna run uh, the simulation up to 2000 number of ions when the simulation is run I want to save the output results in this folder So running at around 1200 now and it's gonna run up to 2000 number of ions. Here at this point we want to save the data as well. Click on that option. I go to F, frame rough data, click on OK. So here is my folder. One more thing that I want to do is I click on this option and click over here. Click OK once again. Um, I got my range file before opening my range file I want to show you once again what the issue is so the issue is that I want to see the dopant concentration versus depth but over here on y-axis what we see is atoms per centimeter cube over atoms per centimeter square so um, and basically atoms per centimeter square actually corresponds to the fluence or you can say the dose so we save this data over here in this range file copy this information open the origin file uh, we need to add a third column to this so we use control plus D, D as in doctor option, click on yes. Okay, so now we have a third column as well. and 
and here I paste all the copy data then delete the third column there is not really crucial information for us in the third column uh, the second column as I already mentioned contains this information atoms per centimeter cube over atoms per centimeter square we need atoms per centimeter cube now atoms per centimeter cube divided by atoms per centimeter square actually correspond to this column column B over here and in order to convert it into atoms per um, centimeter cube we need to multiply this column over here with the dose now we have not entered the dose information so far but what we can do is we can actually enter any um, any kind of dose like for example assume that we want to have a dose of uh, 5 into 10 to the power of 14 per centimeter square so over here what we do is multi uh, we use the formula and we actually multiply column B with the dose information and the dose as I already mentioned that in our case we assume a dose of 5 into 10 to the power of 14 per centimeter square hit enter so now we got this third column and then just for plotting we just drag it over here we can play around with the symbol type with the color similarly with the color of the line as well and the line width of the line as well hit apply and click on ok so this gives us the concentration the dopant concentration versus depth and as I already mentioned that now we can enter the dose information as well in your case it could be the dose could be 1 10 to the power of 14 10 to the power of 15 or whatever is your choice of dose um, and then here uh, we see like the peak concentration is around 3 uh, slightly less than 3 10 to the power of it's like around 2.7 2.8 10 to the power of 19 per centimeter cube the range information is already available over here 446 nanometers you see the skewness straggle kurtosis information as well so that is how you plot the concentration versus depth using the SRIM and trim software that's pretty much for today next time i'm going to show you how to average out multiple ion implantations using the SRIM and TRIM software and then how to plot them in origin. So that's it for today. Hope you like this video. Take care and I will see you next time. Adios.